there, I'm Natalie, and Makeup and I, we're BFFs. Yeah. I'm obsessed with makeup, putting it on, and then buying it, and then mm, you get those little money signs, and oh lord. Raise your hand if you're in a committed relationship to makeup. In this case, give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna show you some amazing makeup hacks and DIY gadgets that I think every beginner should know. Hold up, I'm doing a huge giveaway where I'm giving one lucky subscriber a YouTube starter pack, woo. Which includes the best camera, microphone, and tripod to basically say thank you so much for being a part of the family and to give back to you guys. I love you guys. I challenge you guys to get this video to 400,000 thumbs up. Oh my god. So that the glow up gods can help us glow up. I'm serious, we might turn really hot after this video. I dare you to turn this to this by clicking below and giving this video a thumbs up. I want to give a huge shout out to Ornella for watching my videos. Thank you so much. Here are some virtual kisses. So if you want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe to Natalie's Outlet right here and make sure you turn on post notifications by clicking on that little bell right here. Click it, don't be lazy. And once you do those two things, just comment below hashtag notification squad and if you're here within the first 30 minutes that every video goes live, I might pick you. So make sure you're here early. Add me on Instagram because I'm currently doing a huge giveaway to give back to you guys and say thank you. I'm giving away my essentials, which basically are Polaroid, makeup, stationery, and my favorite things. So check it out. Let's get on into the video. The first makeup gadget is a must-have. It's literally a carry-on makeup bag. I purchased this one at the container store and it allows me to take my daily makeup essentials anywhere at any time. With makeup, always start off with a moisturized face. This will allow the makeup to stay on for longer and your skin to be a beautiful base for it. I'm applying my favorite eye and facial cream and all the products every beginner needs will be linked down below. And don't forget your neck. Now, instead of using liquid foundation, which can be hard to blend and take you longer to learn as a beginner in makeup, instead, try a stick foundation. These are my favorite, especially if you're traveling or going to school because it won't leak on your bags. Plus, it's much easier and cleaner to apply. In my opinion, it looks much more natural. To blend out your foundation, resort to a fluffy brush like this one that will help your makeup look airbrushed, natural, and take you less time. Now it's time for concealer. Your under eyes can be a very sensitive place and dry at times, so to avoid a cakey face, get yourself some mini beauty blenders. Not only are these adorable, but when you wet them underwater and blend the concealer, that extra moisture will allow you to look more awake, and the best part is it'll moisturize your eye bags. Since applying foundation removes some of our face's dimensions, we add them back up with contour. But don't resort for a tiny brush like this one. No, no, no. This will only make your face look muddy and your contour will look very harsh. Instead, go for a much fluffier and bigger brush like this one, which will do the work for you. And to bring some dimension onto your nose and make it look smaller and cuter, take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and with the same contour powder, run it down the sides of your nose. This will make your nose look smaller and more defined and with a bigger fluffy brush, blend in the contour for a seamless look. Here's one of my favorite makeup gadgets. This is a travel makeup brush holder that you can place on your bathroom mirrors or when you're traveling, take it so you can have your makeup brushes readily available. And then when you need it, you can just take it out. I love this one. As a beginner, the best thing to do is have all your brushes in a nice place to store them so they are safe and free of bacteria. This one includes these beautiful slots to place your brushes onto with an extra little compartment. Then you can roll it up and you're all set. Congrats to Dulce Candy on this beautiful collaboration with Alta. You go girl. For powder, the rule is less is more. I like to be very minimal with powder even though my skin can get pretty greasy. I only apply powder on the sides of my cheeks, forehead, and chin because I don't want to dry out the natural oils on my face which can make my makeup surprisingly stay on for longer. I remember when I first started wearing makeup, I wanted to go for the really intense colors. However, I found that neutrals are so much more wearable and easier to work with. So a simple place to start with is by using your contour powder as the first eyeshadow base color. Take a super fluffy blending brush, go back and forth several times in windshield wiper motions, and watch how easily your eyeshadow will blend. Honestly, a brush that's thicker than the average eyeshadow brush will be the game changer in a nicely blended eye look. Allow yourself to get creative with a ton of gorgeous colors in the neutral family. Now, if you experience fallout and your shadow is now mixing in with your concealer, not to worry, here's a super easy DIY. All you'll need is a pencil of some sort and a cotton pad. Cut the cotton pad into the shape of a moon and with tape, paste it onto the pencil. Now you'll have a makeup gadget to get any eyeshadow fallout. Experiment with darker colors towards the end of your eyes and to make sure your eyeshadow is well blended, take the fluffiest brush you have and go back and forth. Bam, eyeshadow is slaying. 
Now when you want to switch up your eyeshadow color but don't want to have to use a new brush or clean your brushes, use a gadget like this. This is an instant brush cleaner tool. The little white box is used for cream shadows and the bigger black box is used for powdered eyeshadows. So anytime you change your mind or want to use the same brush, just run it through the makeup gadget and your brush will be clean of color. Eyeliners can be a bit tricky, I know. Take the pressure off by using washi tape. Diagonally tape it to the sides of your eyes and doing this first can help you create a cleaner eyeshadow line, just like this. This will serve as a way to trace where your eyeliner should go without any effort because it's gentle enough to be taken off the skin. To make your eyes pop and look larger, use a dark liner and apply it right below the waterline and then with a darker shadow, blend the color down so it can look smoky and cute. Right before applying lashes, make sure to put a little bit of mascara to help blend them in. Shout out to Benefit for one of the best mascaras I've tried. The easiest way to apply lashes is to use individual lashes. These are a game changer. No more worrying about your lash band falling off. Trust me, that is embarrassing. And my go-to tip is to use clear glue, just like this one so you don't have the white or black gooey gunk all over your eyes. Trust me, that's the worst. And using this little device that comes with individual lashes, it makes it so much easier to apply. Don't forget to apply and spread the glue to the side knots of the lash and wait a few seconds until it's tacky. This will make it easier to apply without having the lash slide off. When it comes to brows, this can be a bit tricky too. It can be overwhelming to have to draw in those brows, so here's my go-to makeup trick. Use the spoolie. Yep, you know that one brush on the other side? This brush already has some pigment in it, so use it to brush in the hairs and watch as your eyebrows get filled in with zero effort. This brush already has some pigment in it, so use it to brush in the hairs and watch as your eyebrows get filled in with zero effort. Then taking the bit you outlined, fill them in. This will make it so much easier for you and the outcome of your brows will look amazing. For a natural puckered look, use a lip liner, one or two shades darker than your natural lip color. Line them in and pucker your lips to reveal your natural lip shapes. Then trace those in too. Using your finger, blend the color out for a natural pouty look. Why use two makeup brushes when all you need is just one? Using your blush brush, here is a quick DIY on how to also make it your highlight blush. Take two bobby pins and pin them to each side and slide them up. This will create a narrow look to the brush, perfect for highlighting your cheekbones or any small area of your face. Cleaning your makeup brushes is a whole other thing. These little gadgets can get pretty pricey, but don't worry, here's the simplest makeup DIY ever. I'm gonna teach you how to create this all under $1. Take any container of your choice. Here I am using the brush cleaner one that I love. Then with the container part of it, take a hot glue gun and start creating little dots all over it. You can also get creative with lines or designs. Basically, once this dries, this will serve as a scrub to wash our brushes onto it. It works just as well and is so much cheaper. Finally, in order to stay organized and inspired with your makeup, find a designated place in your room to store it all. A makeup collection is not built overnight, but this will inspire you to create and have fun with it. I love little containers like this one that allow me to store all my lipsticks, brushes, and essentials all in one place. Oh girl, that glow up is real. I hope you enjoyed today's makeup video. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Also check out my last video right over here where I show you the best food hacks ever. Literally, click it right there. Don't miss it, seriously, just click it. Subscribe right over there by clicking on my face. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And just make sure you have notifications turned on by clicking on that little bell. That way I can see you twice a week. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye.